I am going to get my iPad set up here and wait for everybody to come on. Let's see if I can make this work on the first go. Oh, I should have put my other glasses on. I can't see very good. Oh, look, I'm here. Okay, so now I have to find my comments. Who knows how to do that? I'm gonna say no thanks to that. And there's all my information. Where's my comments? Whoops. Okay, who knows how to do that? Am I logged in? Let's open the app. Ah, hi, oh, I see people coming in. Oh, I missed something. Hang on. Well, this is not mine. Let's see. I am just looking over the comments here. Who? I don't know. We got a lot of people making comments already. <laughs> Thank you guys for the welcome home. I think I'm going to grab my other glasses because... I can't read my screen with these glasses. It's the weirdest thing. They're my new ones. But do you guys like my Maui hat? Woohoo! Yeah. Maui stamping up. Oh my gosh. I've been wearing it like a sombrero, but it's really a sun hat. Okay, now I can see it. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. I know. So fresh in from Maui Monday afternoon, um, we came home and our flights were all seamless. So that was awesome. It's a long day. We left um, the Maui airport at 8.30 um, Sunday night, and we got home at 3.30 Monday afternoon. So thanks, Connie. Thank you guys so much. Thanks, Nikki. Yeah, it's really cute, isn't it? And I like to wear, I have a hat that I always wear when I'm beach bound or on vacation. And um, I don't know if this will be my replacement, but I'll certainly wear it around my own backyard, right? <laughs> yeah. We did, we had a great time on our trip. Like it was probably one of the best stamping up incentive trips that I've ever been on. And you know, we say that almost every time we go on a trip because it just keeps getting better. And I think this one was even more um, important because you know, we've been kind of in a, you know, a funk for the last year and a half. So. Um, Stampin' Up! did it up. They did it up right. It was amazing. It was super fun. And um, I'll be t showing the things that I got on the trip, all of my goodies. They're right over here. I'll be showing those. Oh, you guys can see my yucky door. <laughs> I just realized that. we. I haven't gotten the doors replaced up here yet. You guys know that I've been remodeling my whole upstairs. And the hallway is left and the staircase and then all the doors are going to be replaced. So, yeah, um, that looks kind of icky. But don't mind that. Everything else is new. Would you guys like to see my new desk? I know. I came home from Maui and Fred had it in here. The only thing that isn't here is my shelving that's going to go up the walls. And that's on the front porch. He wasn't sure what I wanted to do with that. So... Um, yeah, just so you know, I see Connie is helping people out with their bingo numbers. If anybody has forgotten their bingo numbers, please just pop a message up here. Ask Connie. She's got them. Um, I, I would answer you. I've got your numbers here too, but I oftentimes only see certain messages. It doesn't show me all the messages because they scroll through so darn fast. So I'll show you guys my office. It's um, my desk, I should say. Show you my new desk. Hang tight here with me. Let me see if I can flip my camera around. There it is. Get a close-up view of my nostrils. Okay, so here we go. Don't get sick. Nobody gets sick. There's no throwing up and stamping. Okay, so here's my... He, he replaced my desktop, and he put this pretty dark wood grain um, top on my desk. We were going to do something different, but then we changed our mind. And he, he worked up here by me for a long time. And he said, he called my office organized chaos. Can you believe that? <laughs> but he said that what I had in mind, he didn't think would work because I wanted to make this table smaller. So it wasn't taking up so much room in here because this office is already too small. Like it's just already, I've got tables here and here's all the goodies for all my kit classes for the month that I'm going to be working on when I'm done. But here's my new desk, 
And he used metal pipes, which I really like. It's kind of that industrial look. And then this is where we, this is where we're gonna video. And so here's all the rest of it. Yeah, cool, right? Everything else was here. Like all of these cabinets and my file cabinets, I, I already had. So I didn't buy anything new except the desk. And then we're gonna do shelving up the wall. He said, you need to start going up now because you're spread out enough. So there's my little video area. The only other thing, you guys, I hope my lighting is okay tonight because all I have is this ring light for tonight. So um, I'm hoping that's going to be enough. My other lights are gone and I hope I can leave them gone because they're very annoying and cumbersome and they don't stay up when you put them up anymore. They kind of slide down and it's just like this whole blah. I hate it. So there we go. And so now we're gonna have a different view behind me. This is, I got kind of a mess going on. Got some swaps. This is where I always put my swaps. I print them out and put them up here so I know my due dates and how many cards I have to make in my organized chaos, right? <laughs> okay, I think we can get started with things. Um, first of all, I wanted to let you guys know the strawberry punch is in stock. Woohoo! I had a bunch of people waiting for that. We did kits back in, I don't know, February or March that needed that punch. So that was kind of crazy. Um, and again, COVID, 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 COVID. So the strawberry punches are in. Um, I do have, like I said, all that stuff that's over on the table over here, a ton and a half. I'm going to get you away from that ugly door. That bothers me. <laughs> I know you guys don't care, but whatever. <laughs> it's a thing. Um, I got four, four different kits going out. Bingo's one of them. I got a hand penned online class that's going out. I've got, well, that goes out probably on Monday. I've got the quiet meadow kit class that's ready to roll. And then those of you that took the catalog kickoff, I'll be getting those all sorted and ready to go also. So I've got four things going out of here with bingo. Um, so lots of things happening here. Nothing like hitting the ground running. When you come back from a vacation, right? <laughs> I think we all deal with that, right? So um, I wanted to let you guys know all of my online classes that I just talked about, I am making up extra packets so that I will not have to cut them off right away. When will the postage stamp be available? Uh, I'm not sure, Deb, but um, if you pop me an email, I can look that up in our inventory status report and let you know. Maybe somebody here will know too. But um, all of my online classes right now, you can find in a link under this YouTube video. I put the link in there. So when we're done tonight, you can look at the description. There's a little carrot, like a little arrow thing. When you click on that, it opens up a bunch of links and link to my online store, a link to my online classes. We have a join become a discount shopper promotion that goes on, I think until the May 31st you get an extra $30 to customize your kit. The whole kit is customizable. You order a kit, and then you get a 20% discount on all of your future orders. So well, it's the best way to be a stamper, I'm telling you. And being on my team is a lot of fun. So if you have any questions about that, let me know. But there's a link in under this video that will take you to all the details about that and also the link to join. You just join my team and you'll get an email from me and I'll get you all into all of our private groups. There's a whole other world that happens behind the screen for people who um, join my team. <laughs> Doris said, I look rested. Doris, I have to tell you, the time change in Hawaii is a little crazy, but the cool thing is, is that we were in bed some nights by 6.30 p.m. and we didn't wake up till 6.30 the next morning, so. Yeah, lots of sleep happening in Maui. So that was awesome. <laughs> Our next bingo is June 30th. Gosh, that seems like a, just ages away, doesn't it? It's hard to believe that we're already almost at the end of May. Well, it is the end of May, right? Let me look. Yeah, it's the last week of May. Who knew? Anyways, don't forget that Join My Team as a Discount Shopper, I believe, ends on May 31st, which is Monday. Um, the next time I will be live is going to be Sunday night at... 6 is it 6 p.m. central that I come on I don't know but I'll, 
you guys, isn't it crazy that I can't remember that? 7 p.m. Central, I think. I don't know. I'll be live on Sunday night sometime. I'll post the links on the Facebook group. <laughs> okay, tonight for our projects that are going to have a little fun bingo in between, I have the All Squared Away Bundle. Now, this was an option for you to add on to your bingo registration. And if you did, these will be coming with your make and take packets. So this is a fun, fun little bundle. We're gonna make, I think, a couple cards with that. And then the lighthearted lines. I love anything that has humor in it. And this certainly um, qualifies for that. I love the everything is figure outable, <laughs> right? Lots of great ones there. And then the Daisy Garden background stamp. I love these big background stamps. I think they're so much fun. So we're gonna be making a couple projects with that too. Included with your make and takes, you're gonna get enough supplies to make all five cards that I'm showing you tonight. Plus, you're going to get the loose flowers. These are really pretty. They're new in our annual catalog. Let me get one opened up here. Hang on. Look at, look at how pretty these are. Yeah, they're gorgeous. And then you're getting a half a pack of these ombre gift bags. And look at how pretty these are. So you get two of each color. Fun, right? And I'm going to show you a really neat project tonight to use with them other than a gift bag. You're, I think you're going to love it. I just know you are. It's one of my favorite things to do with gift bags. And then you're getting a half a pack of the shimmer paper. Yay! So I cut this down to six by six to mail it. And last but not least, we have brand new scalloped boxes. And you're going to get a scalloped box with your make and take stuff and we're going to make a project with it. So woohoo! If you want to get in on the make and take packets, um, registration probably won't open until about June 9th, probably. I gotta write that down, because then I tell you one thing and I forget. Register six, nine. I'll open up bingo registration on June 9th for the next set of Cards with Bingo. So, awesome make and takes. Thank you so much, you're so sweet, thank you. Um, I do have a lot of fun with this, and I have to tell you guys, big shout out to my team member, Sarah Simon. Um, Sarah designed all the projects we're making tonight and it was kind of a funny little thing. Well, it wasn't that funny probably for her, but <laughs> she left a comment on one of my, um, I don't know, one of my live things I was on and said if I needed any help to let her know. And I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, I could use some help. So I messaged her and I told her all the details that I needed five projects and these were the products we were using for the bingo make and takes. And if she could design my bingo stuff, that would be awesome. And Sarah is a phenomenal stamper. Then she messaged me back and said, well, she was really talking about helping me with the software that I bought to make things fancy that I still haven't used. And I'm like, oh. She goes, but I can make your make and takes too. <laughs> she, she was really overloaded and um, I felt bad. So I bought her, I got her a nice gift from Maui. Yeah, so anyways, um, projects tonight come from Sarah Simon, and I'm really excited to share them with you. Okay, I think that we are ready to get started. Hang on. You guys see my, I know I should have moved my yucky um, bulletin board. It was hanging right up here on the wall, and Fred took it down, and so now I don't really know what to do with it. But that's like my life in a nutshell right there. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Tina says. Thank you, Sarah. Oh my gosh, right? She's the best. Okay, let's see. I'm going to start with a super pretty, we've got a super pretty easel card. I'm gonna take the hat off because I'm getting a little hot. We don't need any hot flashes with Kelly. Like I said, on Sunday night, I am going to show you guys all the goodies we got in Maui. I've got them in a bag over there so they're not getting lost and you know shuffled in with my whole life. So I'll be able to share everything with you guys. I'm sorry, my chair keeps rolling away from me. I think my floor is kind of tilted this way, so I kind of slide around. <laughs> this house is 121 years old, so I think it's entitled to a tilted floor, right? <laughs> okay, we're gonna flip the camera around. I'm also going to plug it in if I find a plug. Hang on, I've got, I've got a plug here somewhere. 
Here it is. Okay, I found it. Hang tight. We're going to flip now. Oops. There we go. Okay, hopefully I won't do anything stupid here. I've got this new phone and the buttons are in different places, if you know what I mean. So that can create some problems I'm not used to. I have to be careful when I put this in my holder thing because I could like turn everything off. Oh, I hope this light is enough. If it's not, you guys let me know. Um, I really can't do anything about it tonight, but I can make some improvements. So yeah. Hot flashes, who's talking about hot flashes? Not feeling well, aw. Oh, Lisa, I'm so sorry you're not feeling well. That stinks. Hope it's nothing serious. Okay, first off, well wishes to Lisa tonight. Um, did I bring Val a hula skirt? Oh my gosh, you're so cutely. I did not bring her a hula skirt, but you know, we've been calling her um, little hairdo that she does with that little ponytail on the top. We've been calling that, somebody said, called it a pineapple top. I don't remember who it was, but that has stuck. So I got her a little stuffed pineapple and it's got a zipper in the back where you can stick stuff in it. So I thought that would be fun. Then I found a little leather coin purse that was handmade. That's also a pineapple for her to hide things in. And what else did I get her? I didn't get her a dress because the dress was $42. I just couldn't do it. Like that was insane. So I didn't get her the dress that I found, but it was really cute. I got her something else too and I can't remember. I'll think of it. Okay, here comes all our bits and pieces. And I have to tell you, I was looking through these a little while ago and Sarah did an outstanding job, just outstanding on putting this together for me. So she's got all my little written notes here so that I know what I'm doing. We are starting with a Mango Melody card base. Oh, look at how much junk you guys can see. Hang on, I'm gonna move this just a little bit. My screen is different than what you guys are seeing. Don't, nobody get sick. Okay, I think that'll work. Oh, by the way, this is my current host code. If anybody would like to place any orders with me, use this host code if your order's under $150. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're gonna get rewards from Stampin' Up. I definitely want you to have them. Ooh, um, yes, Trish Flanagan is Patricia Flanagan, and I hope she's on the list. Um, I'm looking here. Hang on just a second. Yep, she is. She's on the list. Okay. All right. So we have Mango Melody and we are going to be using the All Squared, oops, I gotta put this over here. The All Squared Away bundle for this card. And on this, this is four and a quarter by 11. You're going to score at two and three quarters, and then again at five and a half. Now, when you get your make and take packets, you're gonna go back and watch this video. You guys know you can fast forward to where I start making the cards so you don't have to listen to me, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay, so we've got that done. And now I'm going to burnish and burnish. Hang on, I gotta turn my fan on, I'm very hot. Whew. It's kind of stuffy in my office. So the fan really helps. Okay, next up, we are going to take a piece of magenta madness. And this is four by five and a quarter. I'm gonna just set that aside. We've got a four by five and a quarter basic white for the inside. You guys know I love to decorate up the insides. And I think we're gonna do that First. So I've got Memento Black Ink here, and we're going to put, we're using the little greetings from the All Squared Away. The best thing about today is you and happiest of birthdays to you. So we're going to stamp that Memento Ink, happiest of birthdays to you. And I'm going to put that, oh, I did pretty good. I'm kind of out of practice. No, I shouldn't say that. I just um, designed all of my um, Quiet Meadow cards last night. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun. That's my funnest part, is designing. I absolutely love it. Okay, next we have a four by half inch piece of the Magenta Madness. And we're going to 
put that on the inside of this card. And Sarah, can I just say that she totally, totally gets my stamping style because I believe that every one of these cards is decorated on the inside and that just makes my heart happy because I do not think the party should stop when you open a card. I think it should continue. Okay, next up, we are going to take, gosh, I just ate some yogurt and I'm hungry again. I do have to say, in Hawaii, the food is not something that impresses me. Is that terrible to say? Um, you would think being on the ocean, they would have lots of seafood, but not so much. It's kind of different. Like Florida, it's all about the seafood. Okay, so you're going to take this little flower die and you're going to die cut a flower out of your um, rainbow shimmer paper. And we're gonna get this cute little flower here and we're going to add this to the inside. And again, kudos to Sarah for doing this because this just made me happy. <laughs> Perfect, okay. This score line that's on the front, you're gonna open that up and we're gonna put our base right in here. And I like the way she put that greeting down at the bottom with that strip of magenta madness because that's just a little bit unique, right? And it makes me happy. Lots of things make me happy, but this does too. Okay, next up, we're gonna take a piece of basic black. This is four by four. And we are going, no, we're not gonna put that on there yet. We're going to set that aside. We have a little bit of stamping and embossing to do. So this little black square is one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. And don't worry, these will all be cut for you in your make and take packet. We're gonna take our verse mark. And we've got the best thing about today is you. Let me stand up so I can make sure I'm getting this right in the middle. So how does that look? Oh, that's not really the middle. <laughs> Hang on, we're gonna go for the other middle right now. Okay, there we go. Always, always close up your ink pad before you play with any embossing powder, okay? Because if you've ever spilled embossing powder in your Versamark, it is not pleasant. Okay, so I see that I've got some edges here. And if you happen to have, hang on, I'm looking for a little paintbrush. There we go. If you happen to get edges like this, you can dust those off with just any kind of a little paintbrush. I'm just going to do this. Hang on. There we go. That's looking fabulous. Okay. And then we're going to heat set it. So the one thing I really love about my new office is I used to have all this stuff setting on the floor because I didn't have enough desk space, right? So now over here, I've got all of this desk space. So hopefully I won't be tripping over things on the floor. It, it'll still probably happen. Who am I fooling? <laughs> but yeah. Oh, Kathleen says your nails look lovely. Yeah, you guys, it seems like, well, it's been a while since I've seen you, right? I've been gone for two Sundays. Um, I did get my nails done. I got a little daisy on each one of these little fingers. And I got my toes painted in that kind of bright whatever color that is. Do you want to see them? Here, I'll let you see. Oh, who does this on live TV, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, next up, we are going to take a black piece. And look, she put little notes on here for me, which was fabulous. <laughs> Bless her heart. And we're gonna take these frames. We're gonna do this one. And we're going to do this one. And this one. So the only one we're not using is like this leafy one. So we're gonna put those on here and we're gonna run them through our die cutting machine. And Sarah has already done that for me because she likes magic too. <laughs> so we have all three of these and our little sentiment. And then you're going to take your rainbow glim glimmer paper and you're going to cut it. 
and this is one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. So now we're going to glue these on here. So I just, you know, if you want to, you could get out a sponge and use your glue that way with a silicone mat. I'm being lazy and I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to these. And I'm gonna put my pink down at the bottom because that's what Sarah did and I like it. Oh my gosh, look how pretty this is. Oh, let's get it on there straight. There we go. <gasps> look at that, is that not beautiful? It is beautiful. I think I'm gonna open up my window here, so hang on. Ooh, does that make the light better? Sometimes it glares at me. Okay, and again, with my flowers with the pink at the bottom. Yep, my stomach is already growling. We have a long night ahead of us. With my growly stomach, I hope you can't hear it. So, I was kind of trying to lose a little weight before I went to um, Maui, because you know, I've gained about probably 10 pounds. And it's, it's swimsuit season. We all know how we feel about that, right? Um, and I, I'm in a swimsuit a lot, like every day in the summer, because we got a big old pool out in the backyard with our 121 year old house. So imagine that. It's kind of an oddity that we have this great big beautiful pool, but whatever, I love it. And um, so it's, it's, it's swimsuit season and I need to, you know, I always feel a little bit better about myself when I'm down about 10 pounds. So I was dieting a little bit. And when I say dieting, I do my little Optavia program. I'm just gonna put this on here and then I'm gonna quickly get one of these over here just to make sure that I've got the right distance, okay? So I can move it if I need to before it sets too much. But anyways, yeah, this is these go really, really close together. And of course, it's kind of hard to see it because it's black on black, but trust me that you can see it if you were in real life. When you make yours, you're gonna see it. Oh my gosh, this is not just the pretty, look at how pretty that is, right? Ah, oh, love it. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we are going to add this to our magenta layer, and we're just gonna center this on the magenta. We're gonna put this right in the middle, like this. And then I'm gonna grab, hang on. Oh, Sarah even cut some white baker's twine for me. I'll be putting white baker's twine in your um, make and take packets because I didn't include it in the products, like a whole pack or whatever. So just so you know, you'll be getting those. Um, Sarah tells me this is about 18 inches. So don't we love her? I know, right? She's the bomb. So I'm just gonna put this right in the middle and tie a bow. So anyways, back to the whole thing. Well, I don't know if I lost any weight before I left. I, I, I tried, but I was cheating and cheating just doesn't work. So Monday when I got home, I hit it again. And I have to say that Tuesday and today, I went for my bike ride. Did you guys see the deer that I posted on the Facebook? Um, my Facebook group? Yeah, okay, now, hang on. We'll continue that conversation in a minute. Okay, this is folded, right? And you are going to only put glue on this part or just the bottom part down here. And I think I'm gonna go with the bottom part down here, just like this, okay? Because we don't want any glue on that top part or your easel will not work. And now we're just gonna center this on here. So it's just like a card front, only it's got a score. Ooh, Michelle says she loves the color combination. Hi, Betty Meyer. Happy to see you on here. Okay. All right, I think. Oh, um, hang on. Hang on. I've got flowers someplace. I don't want to use that pack that I showed you because that's going out to somebody. I think I placed a double order again. <laughs> Oh my Lord, I have such a problem. Okay, so I am going to put one of these little flowers right here. And did I say that you get a pack of those? I'm pretty sure you do. Let me look at my list here. I don't wanna be telling you things. Yep, you get a pack of those. I don't wanna be lying to anybody. Well, she said, 
All right, if you guys have ordered new glue dots, the dot part is on the back of the tape. I don't know if it was an error or if they're just using a new manufacturer, but we're used to pulling them off here and now they're on here. It's just a little weird, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to put that little glue dot right there. Ah, look at, look at how cute that is. Is that not adorable? Okay, are you ready for the easel part? So here's the inside of our card. Remember, this part is loose. And then here is the, whoops, here is the easel. It will buck right up against that little strip. And this sets on a table just like that. Is that not the coolest thing? Yeah, Heather says, absolutely gorgeous. It does look like a sunset, right? I agree. Yeah, Sarah knocked it out of the park. Like, totally the cutest thing ever. Okay, whew. We are going to get the embossing powder put away. Let me put all this stuff back now. And we're gonna play a round of bingo. I think I need that again. This I'll put in here. I'm gonna not lose my little flower here. Yeah, so I finally went back to the salon. I haven't been to the nail salon since COVID hit. And when I got back there, my little Miss Vicky, she always say, I take care of you. She's so cute. She's like, Kelly, Kelly, so happy to have you back. Oh my gosh, I love her. So yeah, she was pretty happy to see me. She always gets me in and she always goes really fast because I hate sitting in a nail salon. Like I just hate it. I hate it. I can't even tell you how much I hate it. It's just like the biggest waste of time for me. So she rushes me and she does a really nice job and I give her good tips. <laughs> okay, let me set that aside. Now we have to play bingo. Let me grab my bingo can. Here we go. Oh, where's my tiny hands? You guys ready for bingo? Everybody have their numbers now. Oh, that air feels really good. Woo. Yeah, so here we go. We got our tiny hands. Oh, by the way, when I was in Maui, all the demonstrators attending the, um, the incentive trip, we have a copy of the holiday catalog. And can I just say, get ready. <laughs> it's amazing amazing okay this is how this is gonna work let me grab my notes here I forgot I didn't tell you guys all the little things that I do okay so first of all oh I know I wanted to take you when you when you get your make and take packet you're gonna take it out very slowly okay um, pull that out slowly because your cards are going to be in order the way I'm showing you. So this one will be first and then the next card I show you will be the next set of stuff. All the scraps for the cards, uh, I usually put those on the top. So um, those will probably just be laying on the top and then you're going to get to your card layers. Okay, so I want to make sure you know that. There's going to be a label on the front of the packet so that will indicate that it's the front. You're going to get five cards. Um, Connie's on here. You guys know she's my bingo boss, right? <laughs> she's the one in charge of all the numbers. And um, when we play bingo now, I'm going to call a number. And if you have that number in the numbers that you signed up with, you're going to type B in the comments and hit return so that you'll come up as a B. So if Brenda has a B, she's going to type B and she's going to hit enter so that the comment comes through and we can see that she has a B. If you get the next letter, you're going to type B-I. And if you get the next letter, now you have three, you're going to type B-I-N. Okay, that's how this is going to go. The first person to type in the I see come through in the comments with bingo is the winner. Now, if we have more people, I will have consolation prizes. But the first person I see is going to be the winner. So just know that. And what are you going to win? Well, let me tell you. For um, our first game of bingo, this one, the, the prize is $50 in a gift certificate. So you will get $50 to spend on anything you want. And what you're going to do, you're going to email me your name and address and the item codes and names of the items that you would like to order with your winnings. Now you can go over that amount. I will just send you a PayPal invoice for the balance. So whatever you do, your order, if you win, is gonna include 
tax and shipping for your area. Same as cash. So if you win $50, you could order $40 in product and then it's probably gonna, it's gonna be four or $6.95 for shipping and then whatever your taxes. So just know that I'll just bill you for any balance due. So the first game is $50. The second game is $75. The third game is $100. And the final game is a big whopping $150 shopping spree. Woohoo! So pretty exciting, right? Okay, who are our last winners? I got my winners from April. I don't know if I wrote my, um, I don't think I did write, I don't have my May winners here, so. But lots of people have been having a lot of fun. All right, are you ready? Who's ready? <gasps> yeah, here we go. First up is number 20, two zero. Two zero. Could someone buy a new demonstrator kit with the $50? Um, oh, that's a really good question. The demonstrator kit is $99. I don't know that I can do that because Stampin' Up! won't let me pay for part of a kit. It's like a big no-no for me to do that. So I'm going to say I don't think so. But if that's something you're contemplating, if you want to email me and ask me again, I am willing to think about this and possibly contact them and ask them. Here we go. Number nine. Who's got a nine? Ooh, we got lots of bees. Carol, Jackie, Randy's got a bee. Woohoo! Yeah, Dolly says, Elizabeth, if you have sticky fingers using the glue, you're using too much. It's really hard to not use a lot of glue if you're not used to it. But if you watch me, I, you always want your glue to hit your cardstock and then you scribble with it. You don't hold it up and push it out. You put it on your paper and scribble with it. I think that's helpful. 20 and 9. Here comes the next one. 14. Woohoo! Number 14, there you go. Yay! Who's got number 14? Leslie, she had the second win for $75 last time. Yes, you did. Oh, you know what? I do have the winners written here. I have D1, Leslie, Heather, and Trish. And I do believe they're all playing again tonight. Yay, you. All right, next number. Number two, who's got a two? 20, 9, 14, and two. Yep, Trish won the $150 last time. That was pretty exciting, right? Yeah. Here we go with the next one, number 11. Woohoo! 11, 11, 11. I see Jackie and Connie both have B-I. Heather's got B-I-N. Whoa, way to go. Let's see, here we're gonna take this dark one out. What is it? It's a number eight. That one's all curly. Number eight. Yeah, Trish had a lot of fun picking her goodies, didn't you? Uh-huh, yeah. All right. Oh, and you're welcome, Debbie. Debbie says, thanks for reviewing the numbers. You're very welcome. Oh, Betty Meyer's got a B-I-N. Next up, 15. Boom, 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 boom. I took my tiny hands with me to Maui, but I forgot to get them out of my bag. <laughs> we had enough to deal with with Flat Barb and the Sheriff, right? You guys saw any of those pictures flat barb pretty funny <laughs> we always take barb with us on a vacation okay next up 23 who's got a 23 mary lynn is on the board with a b janice and doris both have b's bonnie's in here with a bi yeah leslie was very excited she was able to get a whole suite of products Wendy's in here with a B-I-N. Woohoo! B-I-N-G, Betty Meyer, Connie Piasecki. Woohoo! Ready for the next one, guys? <gasps> Number one. 
Who's got a one? Number one, we've got 20, 9, 14, 2, 1 is the latest number. Connie's got a B-I-N-G. Oh, I already said that. 11, 8, 15, and 23. Woot, woot. Okay, here we go. Number 12. Anything goes. We got a couple people with the B-I-N-G. Number 12, number 12. Tina's on with the B-I-N. We got Carolyn and Babe and Connie and Janice. And another Janice. All right, you guys. Oh, people are getting more, more numbers on the board. Are you ready for the next one? It is number 13. Do we have some 13s? Do, do, do. I wish I had some candy up here so I could eat. <laughs> That would be kind of gross though, wouldn't it? Chomping away on food in your ear. B-I-N, we got some B-I-Ns. Tracy's got a B-I-N-G. Way to go, Tracy. Leslie's on the board with a B-I-N. Lee's on the board. Carl's on the board. Oh, that's Deb. Deb, Deb Prantle. Are you guys ready? Here comes the number six. How you doing? Who's got a bingo? Kelly, do you have a name for your little hands? No, Wendy, I don't. I know Mark calls her as Handy Mandy. Yeah, so I don't, I don't have a name. <laughs> All right, we got some BIs and some BINs. Is there a boogie prize for no numbers? Nope, we don't have any boogie prizes. <laughs> I'll do a big L, Brenda, a big L. <laughs> Kathy's on the board with a B, yay Kathy. Okay, I think we're ready. Here comes the next one. Number five, number five. Do we have a bingo, 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 bingo. Come on, you guys. Ooh, Bonnie's got a B-I-N. Doris with a B-I-N. Deb's got a B-I-N. Lots of B-I-Ns. We got Maureen on with a B-I. Jackie's got a B-I-N. How's it going? You guys know, before I forget, there's a backup link in case we get knocked off of here. Sometimes that happens. It's just a weird thing. But if that happens, you go to the other link that I emailed you. Okay, here we go. Number 10. What, what? Anything goes. Come on, you guys, we got a lot of numbers out. Number 10, number 10. Lots of B-I-N's, a B-I-N-G, an L-O-L. Oh, that's not bingo. <laughs> B-I-N-G, here we go. Oh, we're watching, we're watching, we're watching. Janice has got a B-I. Bingo, Randy with a bingo. All right, Randy, I am going to look up your numbers here. Randy Brosnan. Oops, hang on. Let me get your, um, all right. Yep, here you are. 6, 10, 12. So we've got 6, 12, 10, 20, and number one. We have a bingo. Way to go. Um, Created to Bless wants to know how many rounds of bingo? Four. We're going to play four games in between five cards. Okay, congratulations, Randy. You're the big winner. Um, Let's see. Are we getting any more bingos? Nope, I don't see any other bingos coming in. Connie's going to watch for that. Way to go. Nice job, Randy. Okay, let me get these back in here. And I always kind of like to... Give these a good shake. Get them all mixed up so we don't have any like weird stuff going on with numbers, right? There we go. Okay. We're going to set this aside so we can make another card. Okay. 
Next up. Ooh la la. Let's see. Oh, I think we'll do this next one. This also uses the All Squared Away bundle. And yes, Marla says she's not playing, but it sure is fun to watch. Absolutely. That's why I have this open for the public because it's a stamping class. And of course, who doesn't, you know, want to watch some fun, right? You know what? I'm thinking, is this light on as bright as it can be? Hang on just a second. Oh, there's my little finger. It has some switchy deals. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> okay, here comes. Let me put this over here. Here comes my next little cheat sheet Sarah made for me. And all of our little pieces. So, here we go. Now, we have two white layers, four by five and a quarter. This is a Knight of Navy layer at five and a half by eight and a half. And we are going to fold that in half. Then we're going to take one of these white layers and we're going to add, okay, do you guys remember this designer paper? Yeah, well, I happen to have a lot of it, so everybody's getting a strip of this because this makes a really pretty card. And I told Sarah if she had any, it would be awesome to use it, and she did. So here we go. Now, I am going to put this right across the middle, but I'm not gonna glue it down yet because I have some stamping to do. We're going to stamp Good Things Grow from the All Squared Away stamp set in Night of Navy ink. And I think I have that inked up really good now. I'm going to try to stamp this straight. So I haven't glued this down in case I make a boo-boo. I can turn it over and try again, right? Oh, that looks really crooked. <laughs> and this is why we don't glue things down yet. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna make sure that this is stamping. Yep, it's stamping straight. I just wanna make sure that I didn't mess something up here. Oh, much better. Okay, so we've got that. Now, um, we've also got a piece um, seaside spray. This color, unfortunately, is retired, but it matches the designer paper. So Sarah said she had a bunch. She cut all of these for us, and we're going to use them. So you'll get this little layer in your make and take packet also. I'm using Versamark ink, and we're going to use it with this little polka dotty square. So let me stand up again. So I went and picked up Val today, you guys. And for those of you that might be new, Val is my little granddaughter. Now this is really hard to see until it dries a little bit, but you can kind of see the pattern on there a little bit. And it's just very faint. If you have Seaside Spray ink, you may want to stamp with that. Let me go see if I know where mine is. Hang on, get a drink. I'll be right back. Oh, I found it. Yay! My helper, Kathy Miller, put all my retired stuff away. So that was awesome. And I actually found it. So I've got the Seaside Spray. We're gonna do it on the other side and see what that looks like. But if you don't have Seaside Spray, you can do the Versamark. And of course you can see it is getting darker here, right? I hope you can see that. Kind of hard to see in the light. Okay, so let me try this. Oh, I stamped on the back of it, darn it. We'll, we'll try it with the Seaside Spray and I'll just show you what it looks like. I was gonna use Balmy Blue. Oh yeah, that's much darker. So I would probably, I'm gonna do this again. I like the Seaside Spray, but Versamark would work. I stamped right over the Versamark. <laughs> we can do things like that, right? We can improvise. You get the urge to yell bingo, Eileen says. <laughs> I totally get that. Totally get it. Okay, so here we go with this. Now, I am going to, we can glue this down now. I'm going to put this right in the middle of my four by five and a quarter inch layer. Oh, by the way, this DSP is one and a half by five and a quarter. So if I can get that 
straight. That looks good. Okay, we're gonna put this right on the front of our card. Okay, and then we are going to stamp, oh, looks like I got that crooked. Yours will be better, right? Don't get it crooked, make it straight. Okay, we're gonna stamp like our friendship, again with the Knight of Navy ink, because that matches. I'm gonna stamp this right in the middle here. Yay, that turned out good. <laughs> and then you're gonna have a little half inch strip of the designer series paper, and we're gonna put that right at the bottom. A little bit of white sticking out. There we go. Okay, let me close this so I don't have any accidents. This is gonna go on the inside. Yay, Judith is here. Judith, we're happy you made it. Don't worry about being late. We all have busy lives, right? Things going on, things happening. Look how pretty that is. That's just pretty, right? Okay, so now what we're gonna do, here's the rest of my pieces. We are going to take a white square, and these are two by, this is two by two, and where did my eyes go? Hang on, they're right here. We are going to use the die that does this. We're gonna use this die. It's got this flower in it and that flower, and we're going to die cut that, okay? And then, It's going to, hang on, look like this. Isn't that pretty? Okay, now um, I need to do, I think I probably dropped my navy flower. So we're gonna do, oh, no I didn't, look it. Look what Sarah did, she's so smart. Cut the flower from the inside of the two and a quarter by two and a quarter. Okay, so you need a piece of Knight of Navy that's two and a quarter by two and a quarter. You're going to take this flower die and die cut a flower right out of the middle of this layer, okay? And then we're gonna use it to layer. So just set that aside. We're gonna do this. So I'm gonna, yeah, this is the side I'm putting the glue on. I'm gonna put some glue on here. So this soft um, seaside is, uh, I don't know what size it is, hang on. It's probably two, two by two, did I say that already? Yeah, two by two, okay. The white is also two by two. We're gonna glue that right over top. So this is what they kind of have in mind for these little patterned squares in here. All those different little patterns is to layer these die cut images over them. Here we go. Oh, the seaside. Oh yeah, because this is a little bit, Never mind. I'm just gonna shut up. The seaside is two by two and this white one will cut out and it's just a little bit smaller than two inches, obviously. And now we are going to put this, this flower layers right over top of this flower somehow. <laughs> let's make it, let's make it meet up. We gotta figure out, oh, I think this is it, yep. Move it around like a puzzle till you figure it out, okay? And then, if you happen to have any rhinestones, they're not included in your make and take, but I think most of us have rhinestones or any type of a little jewel. We're gonna put that right in the middle of that little flower right there, isn't that cute? And grab our dimensionals. And we're gonna pop this up on some dimensionals. This is kind of cute too, <laughs> just having that flower. You could put a little rhinestone in the middle of this side on this flower and have a pretty little layer too. Okay, 
dimensionals. And here goes our little layer right here. Is that not just the cutest little thing? Yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, thank you, Judith. Judith says, so dang adorable, love it. Okay, so Judith came in late. Here's the other card that we made, Judith, and it's an easel card. Look at that one. And it pops up just like that on this little strip of cardstock that's in here. Okay, so there's two cards. I'm gonna, whoops, put this stuff away, so hang with me. Put that over there. We're gonna put this back. I should clean my stamps up just a little bit. Using my chamois because I love it. One of my kits recently, I did, um, I included a new chamois for everybody because mine was getting really icky. Well, it, this one's icky again too. But I thought, oh, I think we all need a new chamois. So that's what I included in the, in the price of the kit. Okay, so there we go. Let's get these out of the way. Whew, I'm hot. And we're gonna play bingo again. What's going on here? Okay, here we go. What is everybody drinking tonight? I've got my strawberry lemonade. Yes, Judith, silhouettes. I love them too, and easel card, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are ready for another round of bingo. Now, um, Connie's writing down the winners. Randy won the first prize of $50. This game is going to be a winning of $75 in anything you would like. And here we go. Number five is our first number. Woohoo! I'm gonna get this fan on me before I have a meltdown. <laughs> Personal problems, right? Uh-oh, did I freeze up? I just froze. Hang on. Can you guys still see me? What's happening? Oh, I see. Okay. My iPad just froze up, so just hang tight. I am going to... I can see you guys are answering. Lots of bees coming in, so I'm standing up looking at my phone right now, but my iPad is um, buffering for some reason. That's weird. Okay, so I'll just stand up, keep a look at this. Oh, thank you, Darlene. Elizabeth, thank you very much for saying I'm fine. Number 10. Here we go. Number 10. Um, let's, I'm going to close this. I'm going to go back to Facebook. And I'm go. oh, I lost my internet connection. That's great. So lovely. All right, here comes our next one. Number 14. Hang on, let me see if I can get this working again. Check your modem or router, reconnect. I don't know how to reconnect on here. I have no idea. Next up, oh, I'm watching. Good luck players, thank you so much. 18, do we have any bingos? I'm gonna try to refresh my screen here. <gasps> Number one. Who just got here? I can't read that name. <laughs> I'm so sorry I missed it. Oh my goodness. My glasses are not made for this. Number 19. How we doing guys? It's hard to watch this on, let me see. I'm going to, I'm gonna pull this up on my laptop right now. So please bear with me. A stamp. So I can see your comments because my thing won't reload. I don't know how to use an iPad. Who am I fooling? Are you guys ready? Number nine. Number nine. Do we have any bingos? Bingo, bingo, bingo. Bingo, 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 bingo. Let's see. We're going to go out of here. I'm going to try this again. Yep, I don't know. Connie, yell at me if we get a bingo. I'm still experiencing difficulties. 
<laughs> Number three. Woohoo. And here we go. I'm going to get in here yet. Any bingos? Here we go. Number seven. Ooh, we got a B-I-N-G, Kathy Shaning. Yay, Kathy. Come on. Come on, everybody. Connie's watching. Okay. Uh, we're going to do this one next. I don't see any bingos yet. Let me see if I can get on this. Here we go. Number 24. 24. Ooh, Deborah has a B-I-N-G. Way to go, Deborah. I'm going to take these glasses off now and try my other ones. <laughs> oh, yay. B-I-N-G. Yvonne's got a B-I-N-G. Okay. An error occurred. Please try again later. <laughs> well, I can see your responses. Number four. Do we? Oh, Kathy got a bingo. Yay, Kathy Shaming. Did anybody else say bingo? Yvonne's got bingo. Yvonne, you came in after Kathy. There you go. Okay, so we've got Kathy Shaming gets the first bingo. Yvonne gets the consolation prize for having the second bingo. Yay, congratulations, you guys. Woohoo! Oh, you know what? There's one other thing I forgot to say when we started bingo. Oh, shoot. I didn't look at the numbers. Duh. Did you look at the numbers? Kathy Shaney, hang on. I'm looking right now. Yep, there's the 19. Okay. Three. Wait, where did it go? Hang on, you guys. Shaney, Shaney. 13, 19, 24. 3, 14, 13, 19. And I know I said 24. There it is right there. Okay, sorry. Don't let me do that again. <laughs> Kathy's our second winner. Yvonne is a runner-up. Way to go. Huh. Okay, next up. We have some more cards to make. So I did this one and this one. And now, ooh, I know, we're going to use the, um, where'd that set go? We're going to use the Lighthearted Lines stamp set. Five, two, three, five. Okay. And we've got Polished Pink. And guess what else we're using? The ombre gift bags. And we're going to make a card. So, hang on. Let me get this out of here. I'll put my little cheat neat sheet up here. And all of our little bits and pieces here. Okay. These are so stinking cute, you guys. You are going to absolutely love this. Now, other than using these bags for little gift bags, which is really fun too, because, ooh, they're so pretty. And remember, with your make and take packet, you get um, two of each. So you'll have lots of bags. I don't even know what I did with them. Do you guys see them any place? I don't know where they are. You'll have two bags in each color to be able to play with. So you'll be able to make lots of these. But what you're gonna do here, is you're going to take, this is the front of the bag. And, oh my gosh, I can't see anything. Hang on. I'm not frozen, just hang on. No, nope, an error occurred. Okay, so I'm gonna have to stand up so I can see your comments. All right, you guys, just know I can't really see your comments. Hi, Claudia. <laughs> How do you get the cards to play bingo? We don't actually use cards, Barbara, but you'll be able to register if you um, uh, get on my email list. So you can email me at kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at symbol, 
a stamp above.com. Can you see that up there? A stamp above.com. Kelly at a stamp above.com. Email me and say you'd like to get on my email list and then I will notify you next time we have bingo. All right. So you're going to, this is the front of the bag right here. And you're going to put in the bottom into your paper trimmer. And we are going to score at two and three quarters. So you're going to score your bag because we need a little fold, okay? And let me put this back over here. Yeah, okay. We're going to fold this and we are going to burnish that edge. Now, don't let the fact that this is the back of the bag bother you, okay? Because we're going to do all kinds of pretty things to it that you won't even see that. All right. Now, I've got a piece of, um, this is a piece of basic white, and I will be including in the make and take packet oops, this die cut image, and these are all nicely stitched, so that's really cool. And this is called the Tasteful Labels Dies, okay? Let me get this one out of the back so I don't forget that that's part of this. There we go. All right, so. We're going to die cut this. You can stamp first. Um, Sarah already die cut this for me. So here's what it looks like. And it's got stitching on here. It also leaves stitching, you guys, on the piece that's left over so that you could use that as some type of a frame because it's really cool looking too. All right. Once you have this done, let's see if Kelly can stamp straight. You should always stamp first and then die cut, but you know, trying to keep things moving along good. Um, we are going to use, again, this is the polished pink, and I'm using the um, lighthearted lines. This was one of the items you can add on. It says, to a person who still got it, but might not remember where they put it. Who's that appropriate for? Yep, me. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to stand up, try and get this on here straight. Oh, not bad at all. Okay. Isn't that just such a pretty, bright, vibrant color? I really love it. Okay, and I think if you stamp it first and then die cut it, you're gonna be a little happier with your results. But we're gonna keep moving along. Oops, oops, did you see what I did? Look at this, I got ink everywhere. You guys know that if you have ink on your um, ink pads, like all over the outside, baby wipes will clean them up and make them look brand spanking new. So there's a little tip for you. I love my baby's wipes. And I use Huggies Natural Care Refreshing. Yeah, this is what I use. I like Huggies, number one, because they're made by KC or Kimberly Clark Corporation, and they are right here in my area. Okay, next we have a piece of basic white, and this is three and three quarters by four and a quarter. We have another piece of the polished pink that is four and a half by four. And we are going, ooh, we need a corner rounder. Now, hang on, I'm gonna grab my corner rounder. If you don't have a corner rounder, it's okay. You don't have to have round corners, but it's kind of fun to round the corners. And this is our detailed trio punch. This is a really nice little punch. And it's got three different things in it. It punches out this three little thing, this little um, oval, and then the corner rounder. So we're gonna round two corners just like that and just like that okay and then we're going to take this white layer and do the same thing to it just those two top <laughs> Connie says she loves polished pink best color Stampin' Up! has ever made I like it too. It's really like, it's really vibrant, very pretty, kind of crazy, right? Okay, then, uh oh, okay, here we go. So we've got a scrap of polished pink and a scrap of white. And we have all these little flowers in here. So we're gonna, we're gonna cut out, hang on, let me get this off of here. Oh. We're gonna cut out this little flower on the polished pink 
And then if you see these, these are actually three flowers with one die, which I think is pretty genius if I do say so myself. And we're gonna cut out three of those. Um, and we're gonna do one more in the pink, okay? So Sarah has already done all of these for me. So here's all our cute little flowers. And let me put these back so I don't lose them. Now again, this was all part of the All Squared Away bundle. And lots of you ordered it, so that's cool. You're gonna love it because it's just so stinking cute. You'll see more stuff too, more IDs coming from me using this bundle. I always keep a little upholstery pin just in case my glue gets a little clogged so I can keep moving along. Look at, look at how nice that is. Okay, so we're gonna add this right on here. And then we're gonna take this little flower and add that right up here in the corner. And then we're gonna take one of these little white flowers and we're gonna add that. Uh-oh, hang on, hang on. I got a lot of glue on there. This could be a disaster. Okay, nope, it's okay. All right, so we did that. And now we are going to take this and we need to put some baker's twine on there. So here's our baker's twine. And I'm going to leave a little bit over here for a bow. So I'm kind of pinning it on the left side and I'm coming back around. Yep, you just want to kind of Leave the tails so they're even over here. How are we doing? Are you guys, am I still running? <laughs> I hope so because I can't see anything in front of me. And I am a lazy stamper, so I do not like to stand up and stamp. <laughs> it's just not my thing, you guys. I am on my butt. That's what I do best, is sit on my butt. Okay, I'm trying to get this snug. The nails, the nails are very um, tricky when you're not used to them. And I will get used to them again because I love having pretty nails, but I'll tell you what, they are challenging to begin with. If you guys have ever had um, acrylic nails, they're really thick. And so picking things up is kind of hard. And I know they have those new ones that you can, they paint them on, they're like a powder and they paint them on. I hate those and I'll tell you why. <laughs> You want to know why? I'll tell you. Because they take too long. And I don't think that I should dip my fingers into that horrible solution and remove all my nails every time I have to come in. Now, the other thing is with acrylic nails, you could develop a fungus under there if your salon doesn't do a good enough job getting those edges sealed. So, I um, have never had that happen, and I've been getting nails for a gazillion years. Never had it happen. So my salon knows what they're doing, but please don't leave it to amateurs because <gasps> look how cute this is. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this right over here. Ah, look how cute it is. Okay, um, hang on a second, I gotta run for something. Did you hear me? I actually did run too. This is a gift card holder. And now if you want to, what you could probably do, I didn't tie mine that tight. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this a little tighter. What you may want to do is tie this in a knot. Because it's baker's twine, we can do that. And let's see, this is about 20 inches, by the way, because Sarah told us that. Okay, now it's much tighter. So that's gonna hold that just like that. We're gonna try that bow again because bows can be challenging, right? And there we go. Okay, pretty good. This is a little gift card. This goes right in here. Ah, man, there we go. Look how cute that is. Look at how cute that is, you guys. Is that not just adorable? I love these little gift bags for this reason, okay? Um, I think this is just the cutest little thing ever. And now I'm going to take these other little flowers that I have here. 
and I'm going to just kind of glue them all over the place. So here's a white one. There's a little, where did my other white ones go? I hope I didn't throw them away. I'll show you the ones Sarah made if I can't find them. Another little white one. Well, I had some more white ones here. I don't know where they went. Oh, nope, that's not it. That's a dimensional backing. Um, where's our, uh, here they are. Throw some, uh, you can throw some of these pink ones on here. These are super duper cute. Now with these, you get big ones and little ones. Look at how tiny that is, right? Isn't that the cutest thing ever? Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can refresh my screen again. Okay, so I'm going to curl up a little mini glue dot. Oh, I can't get used to them being on the back here. I'm gonna make this really small for this little tiny one. How about right here? And then grab it, press it right on there. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? And then we'll do that again. And then you can glue as many little flowers on here as you want, but they are just precious. Isn't that adorable? And if you, again, if you have some rhinestones, you can add some rhinestones to the centers, there we go, of the flowers, because why wouldn't you? That's just super duper cute. Oh, I need one more over here. Now you have a really cute little gift card holder using the ombre bags, right? Is that not just the neatest little thing? I knew you guys would love this. And I'm still trying to get something to work here. Okay, so there is our third card and now we're ready to play bingo again. Okay, hang on, let me get my little mess cleaned up here. Dimensionals. Okay, I think we're done with this bundle, so I'm going to put that away so I don't lose anything. Okay, bingo. <laughs> we're ready for bingo. Where's my jar? Right here. Okay, here we go. Who's ready? First one is number 21 and I'm going to see if I can shut off my iPad again. I don't know how to get it back on the internet when it says it's disconnected, but I'll figure it out. Remember, this game of bingo is worth $100. 13! Yay! 13! Okay. That. Next up, number 25. Stand up and see. Oh, we got lots of bees. Oh, that Kathy Shaning. Now, remember, you guys, I don't remember if I said this, but you can only win a major award once <laughs> during bingo. So, during all five of these games, if anybody who's won, the first or second game, you can't be a big winner on the third or fourth. <gasps> 23! Yay! Okay, we're gonna skip the ads here and see if I can bring this up. Gosh, I've got so much multitasking going on here, it's insane. <laughs> and number three, number three. Here we go. Oh, it appears that I have internet now, so that's good on my iPad. Number eight, Janice B.I. Rand, or um, Deb B.I. Mary Ellen has B.I.N. Okay, yay, you guys. Now, how do I get the um, comments to come in here? There we go, I might have it. 
Number six. There we go. Oh, I got you guys back up. Yay. Oh my gosh, so I don't have to stand up. I told you I'm lazy, lazy, lazy. All right. Uh, Brenda says she's still doing the gift card. How are you guys playing bingo already? Mm, Brenda, you must be buffering quite a bit. Um, internet connection may be slow for you. I'm not sure. <gasps> 14. Okay, we've got 21, 13, 25, 23, 3, 8, 6, and 14. Yes, Kathy, you can continue to play. I encourage it. Mary Ellen's got a B-I-N-G. Nice job. Here we go. Number 22. Okay, Brenda, Anna is telling you to pull the red line at the bottom all the way to the right. Jackie has nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for your help. Hi, Diana. Tracy's got BIN. Bonnie's got BIN. Here we go. Number 12. Debbie's got BI. Where's my tiny hands? Let's get these in here. I don't have Handy Mandy. What should I name my tiny hands? You guys got any good names? We should name them tonight. What do you think? Yep, we should. Ready, 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 ready. Number 11. Number 11. Number 11. Ooh, Doris has B-I-N. Go, Doris! I don't know if we've had this number before. Have we had number two? Two. Two, two. Put on a shoe. No, I'm not good at that. <laughs> Here we go. Number 15. Ooh, a B-I-N-G. Who's got that? Tracy. Ooh, Bonnie, B-I-N-G. Uh, Janice. That's a bingo. Okay, Janice. Janice M has a bingo. Janice Mayo. We've got three, six, 12, 15, and 21. Three, six, 12, 15, and 21. We have a winner. Yay. Way to go. Oh, where's my unicorn, you guys? Let's do that. Yeah, sorry. Sorry for you other people. I forgot the unicorn. Val was playing with the unicorn earlier today. Val kind of came up to my office and destroyed a lot of things today. I say that in, of course, all, all kinds of love. <laughs> yeah, she, um, she likes to play in the tunnel under my desk. It's pretty funny. Okay. All right, I think next we're going to do this beautiful card. And this uses the Daisy Garden. Love, love, love. And we're going to use the sentiment from the Lighthearted Lines. Okay. Um, where's our stamp? Right here. Okay, guys. Now. If you do not have a giant stamp like this, you can lay this down on your table. It's fine, but I really do love having this. And this is the um, F, F size. So this fits our big background stamps. And oop, let me get my little cheat sheet over here. <gasps> Sarah, I love it, love it, love it, love it. She, she really did good by me. Like I should take her out to eat or something too. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Okay, here comes cider cinnamon. Or is it cinnamon cider? I don't know. Cinnamon cider. Is that what it's called? Hang on. Cinnamon cider. Okay, 
eight and a half by five and a half. And you're going to fold that in half. And, oh, Janice, by the way, just so I make sure that you know, you want to email me at kelly at a stamp above.com. So kelly at symbol a stamp above.com. Oh, there was that other white flower I was looking for. Um, and you're going to send me your name and address along with which items you would like to order. You can go over your $100 if you'd like, and I will just PayPal invoice you for the rest of it. But your winnings are same as cash. So if you order $100 worth of product, you still have tax and shipping on top of that. Just wanna make sure you know that. You wanna give me the item code and the name of the items as well as your name and address. Woohoo! And if you guys can get those in like within a week, that would be great, because I'll get your orders done right away. Okay, now, um this is so saffron and this is three and three quarters by five and an eighth and then we have a black layer and this is four by five and a quarter and this other these other layers are let's see this one is for the front and this one is for the front but the rest of these are for the inside so we'll talk about those in a minute okay so I am going to stamp, this is just a half inch strip, okay? Oh wait, yes, no, hang on. This is a sign of, yeah, half inch strip. And I am going to use the sentiment from the Lighthearted Lines that says, yes, Mary Lynn wants to know if this stamp will work in the Stamparatus. Absolutely, absolutely it will. This says when nothing goes right, go left. And I love that. Again, just kind of some sassy, sassy little sentiments in this lighthearted lines. So I'm going to see if I can get that. It's a little crooked. We're gonna try one more time and see what happens. And you guys, I am using stays on ink. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, and I've had a lot of people ask me about how do you get stays on ink off your stamps? Well, you can use a baby wipe. That usually works pretty good. If you clean them right away, like this is coming pretty clean. But the other thing that I have to say to you is why does it matter? Now, I know some of you and I have friends like this that are kind of anal and they want their stamps to be pristine all the time. But to me, if I have a dirty stained up stamp it tells me that it has had a lot of love and it was definitely worth purchasing. I don't know if you feel that way or not, but I do. So I love a stained up stamp, but you can use your, you can use baby wipes. You can use the Stampin' um, Chamois. You can also get the Stazon Cleaner. We sell that, it's in the catalog. And you can use that. But me, personally, I don't care. I don't care if my stamps are all stained up. That tells me that I use them and that makes my heart happy. But I understand, I understand the need to keep everything pristine, maybe. I don't know if I do or not. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't understand it. <laughs> but whatever, right, to each his own. Okay, so I'm going to take this, now this was a half an inch, so then this next one is 5 eighths inch. This is basic black. And I am going to, I flagged the end of this, and now I'm going to give it enough room so you can flag the end of the black layer also, okay? So make sure you give it enough room down here because lots of times we like to get it too close and then it doesn't work right. Again, I just snip in the middle and then I bring in from each end and that really does work well for me. Okay, so there we go. This is gonna be our little sentiment. We'll worry about cutting that off in a minute. We're gonna take the So Saffron layer, and this is the layer that we are going to use to put our flowers on. So I'm gonna make a big old hairy mess out of this beast. And here we go. You wanna make sure you're giving good pressure on the whole thing. The other thing you wanna have when you're using a big background stamp like this, if you're not using the Stamparatus, which is a great way to use it, you want a big piece of paper like this. Now I'm gonna go way up here, 
set this on here, use this paper and use a nice flat hand and give this good pressure. And of course, you know this ink dries super fast, so you can't mess around yakking. You need to ink it and stamp it right away. And the reason why I use Stazon is because I knew it would give me a really deep, dark black on So Saffron. So, all right. The next thing I'm gonna do is I got this little half inch strip and this is for the inside of my card. So what I'm gonna do there is I am going to ink this up again. I'm gonna put this little strip in here, just like that, and give it good firm pressure. And the reason why I do that is so that I don't get ink all over my hands, right? Look at how pretty that is. Yay! Okay. Let's see how clean this comes. Let's use our chamois first. Oh, this isn't very wet, you guys. Ugh, what is happening? Let me grab a new one. Oh, this one's, this one's wet. I have lots of them. <laughs> when I used to do in-person classes, I had these sitting on each table. So it kind of works out good. This is just one of our clear stamp cases. Move that over here. Now I'm gonna take a baby wipe. Again, this would be fine for me. I don't care that it's still got a little black on it, but whatever. Just clean it off, yay. And you can see that it's it's fairly good. Now, the thing about stays on ink is as it, you know, it dries, it won't, it'll dry like it's a permanent ink so it won't get into your other colors if there's still some staining on here. It's fine. Okay. All right, let's keep going here, right? Because this is exciting stuff. <laughs> All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this yellow piece. This is the So Saffron. I'm going to put some glue on it. And I'm just going to offset it a little bit on this other black piece. And this is about mm, three eighths of an inch. I just want it to have a little border at the top. Hang on. There we go. Now, this is a little bit crooked, so I'm just going to trim it. Don't tell Sarah then she'll be like, oh, geez, I made a good... No, it's easy to do these little pieces crooked. Okay, so look how cool that looks, okay? Then, where's our card? Here's our vanilla piece. I'm not going to put any sentiment on the inside. I'm just going to leave it bare so I have lots of room to write. Because if you're sending a card to somebody that says, when nothing else goes right, go left, you probably have a fair amount of stuff to say to them, right? Like, oh, I'm so sorry, whatever's going on, da 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 you know, so that's cool. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over here, trim this off just a little bit. I always like it that things are a little bit bigger rather than too small. And here comes this. I love that she used the cinnamon cider color because I really do love it and I don't use it enough. So this is this is a really um, interesting color combination that I really love. Look how pretty that is, you guys. Isn't that pretty? Okay, now this is our front. And what we're gonna do is we are going to bring in our paper trimmer. There we go. We're gonna take this yellow, the So Saffron. Now remember, this is three and three quarters by five and an eighth. And we're gonna cut this into one and a quarter inch strips. So here's one and a quarter. Oops, keep it straight, Kelly. One and a quarter. And then one and a quarter. So we've got these three pieces. You want to keep track of where they go or you're going to put a puzzle together, right? One, two, and three. And we're going to put this on our black layer. So we're going to do the outside of this first one. Just like that. Okay. The 
This is gonna be our middle piece, but we're gonna put our right side piece on next. I'm gonna make sure that I got that right. That I didn't do something stupid here. Won't well, be stupid, it'd be a mistake, right? An accident. Shouldn't be so hard on myself. Okay, there we go. Yep, and then this one's gonna fit in there perfect. And I like to kind of put that in place quickly so I can see, it, so I can move those around if I need to. One of the reasons why I really like using glue is because you do get that little bit of wiggle room if you need it. Hey, oh, look how cool that is, you guys. All right, so before we glue this on our card front, we are going to add this piece. And I'm going to put some glue on here. Just like this, make sure I have it straight. Make sure I've got this in the camera so you guys can see what's going on. And Kathleen says she just got home from date night. Well, good for you. My husband had a date tonight with a golf ball. <laughs> oh, um, when you do this, you should, you should leave a little of the black on the edge. Ugh. Hang on, because this is going to look goofy if I don't do this. Okay, ready? I don't want to leave any, like, tear marks anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Look what I did to the back. It's okay. Oh, crap. I just really messed it up. I was going to say, it's okay. Nope, I can fix it. I've, I got to peel the paper apart. Okay, here we go. There's always a way to fix stuff, you guys. Always a way. Most of the time, right? Yep, okay. Do not fret. Get a little bit here. Don't tear yours like that. This is real life stamping with Kelly. Okay, so we're gonna put some glue on the back of this again. And we're gonna put it right here, but leave that little bit of black margin hanging out. Otherwise it'll look kind of goofy. You know, it wasn't that big of a deal, but <gasps> look how pretty that is, right? Okay, next. Ooh, and Betty says she loves this card. I do too, Betty. I think it's just so pretty. There we go. There we go. What do you guys think? Isn't that just fun? Yeah, this is vanilla, by the way. Yeah, kind of earthy tones, right? I love doing this with the three panels. That's just very clever. Way to go, Sarah. Knocked it out of the park, my friend. Okay, I think we are ready to play bingo again. Let me put some of my stuff away here. Oh, we're gonna need this again, so I'll leave that out. Oh, we might need the stays on too. Okay, here comes Bingo, who's ready? Get ready for Bingo. All right. <sighs> okay, this is our last game of Bingo. This game is worth $150 shopping spree. Yeah, and we have a new annual catalog, so who's not excited about that? Good luck to everybody. Hang on, I gotta put my little tiny hands on. Here we go. Mix it up sufficiently. We're gonna go right here, and we're gonna start with number two. Who's got a two? Did I tell you guys that I took all my old-fashioned stuff to Maui with me? Like, I took a little bottle of Southern Comfort. <laughs> oh, we got lots of bees. Number 19. I took um, a bottle of bitters. I took a jar of olives, a jar of cherries, some of those little spear picks, and also some umbrella, foo-foo umbrellas, because even though uh, old-fashioned really doesn't get that, I like the foo-foo drinks. <laughs> 23. So yeah, I had several old fashions. And then when we were at the pool and we ran out of the old fashions, we were drinking the hibiscus margaritas. And can I just tell you, they have a powerful little kick. <laughs> and at $17 a piece, we were sipping them. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty expensive there, right? So expensive. Look at Wendy with her B-I-N, your little show off. Here we go, number five. 
Yeah, Diana says, old fashioned, yeah. Yeah, they're good, right? I might have one tonight. But yeah, I um, I had some old fashions. I had um, a couple of pina coladas. The first one was horrible. I don't know how people can mess up a pina colada. But the second one was better at a different place. We got some B.I.s, some B.I.s. Here's number 13. Then um, we ordered room service the first night. Room service doesn't cost any more than going to the restaurant at the resort because of COVID. So I ordered um, room service. I got a little shrimp bowl, 11. I got a little shrimp bowl. It had like five little shrimps in it with some rice. And Steve got a hamburger, cheeseburger, and an order of fries for $61. <laughs> I like a Manhattan with Maker's Mark and cherries. Good for you, Margaret. Ooh, we got a B-I-N-G, Leslie. What? Oh, yeah, Diana. Tina, I'm killing you. What does it say? Not even a B. <laughs> oh, here we go. Number nine. Who's got a nine? Who's got a nine? So today, I wanted to save the shark story for you guys till Sunday. I think I will. I had a lot of fun in the ocean. The water was cold. I was really surprised. Oh, by the way, wait, the weather was gorgeous. There is no humidity there. So it's just beautiful. It was 80 and beautiful all the time. But the water was kind of cold in the ocean. Yeah, I was surprised by that. And the trade winds come in every day. 24 at about 10 or 11 o'clock, the trade winds come in and it just gets so windy. Maureen says, what range are the numbers and how does this work? Maureen, I'm so glad you asked. So um, you choose five numbers between one and 25. And I have one through 25 in here. And when you register, you tell me what your numbers are gonna be. And then we have, um, well, it's on my screen, but everybody's numbers on a sheet. And I have a bingo boss, that would be Connie. She's helping me from Marquette, Michigan. She's up in Marquette, I'm in Wisconsin. And um, I just read off the numbers and then you, 22. You tell me, when you get the first letter or number, you type in B, and then when you get the second one, you type in B-I, and the third one, B-I-N, and whoever gets bingo first is the winner. And then we make cards in between each game. So we play four games of bingo, and we make five cards. And yeah, little Val, little Val was here today. Oh my gosh, you guys, so for Mother's Day, Haley bought me um, a photo session with her photographer for me and Val. And I just saw all the pictures today. I don't even know how I can choose. They are so stinking good. Okay, are we ready? <gasps> Number one. Do we have a big no? Kathy Shaming is really close again. Dang it. Kathy. Well, I hope you don't win, Kathy, because that would bite. Kathy already won. <laughs> she can't win again. But you could get a consolation. I will definitely go that far. Ooh, Tracy has a B-I-N-G. So yeah, we had Val here earlier today. I went and picked her up and oh my gosh, she just lights up like a Christmas tree and hugs me and hugs me and hugs me and then looks at her great grandparents like, look who's here, my granny's here, look at her, look at her. It's so funny. And today we were playing with some Nintendo controllers and I was pretending like it was a phone. 12. <laughs> you guys like how I do that? And um, I said, hello, hello, I think it's for Val, hello. And I handed it to her and she said, hello. <laughs> Oh, it was like the most exciting moment. <laughs> she is so stinking adorable. I just love her to death. I really missed her. When we got home Monday, I had to go right over. Well, Haley and Jared came over and I took them out for dinner because I wanted to see her so bad. 25, do we have a bingo? What are Kathy Shaning's number? You don't have a 25, so I know you didn't win. How about Tiny Tim? Tiny Tim, I like Tiny Tim. Jackie, that's a great name for my little tiny hands. 
I know I should really decorate them up a little bit. Mine are kind of dirty. Val likes to chew on them. She fills them with her spit, which is pretty gross. <laughs> Was that a little too much? A little more than we all needed to know. Here we go. Here comes another one. Number 10. Do we have a bingo? We only have one more, one more project to make too. So I'm excited because we're gonna use that scalloped box. I think you guys are gonna love those. Okay. We do not have a bingo yet. We got some B-I-N-G's. Maureen. <gasps> Leslie, <laughs> Leslie got bingo. Yay. All right, so Leslie, where is yours? Right there. We've got 2, 11, 10, 13, 19. 2, 11, 10, 13, 19. We have a winner. Yay! Congratulations, Leslie. And again, like the other winners before you, pop me an email at kelly at astampabub.com. Give me your name, address, and the item code and name of the items you would like to order. You get to choose $150 in any darn product you would like. If you guys could all get those to me within the next few days, that'd be awesome. And I will have it shipped directly to you. Yay. How fun is that? Congratulations. I'm excited. Oh, where's my, here's my unicorn. Yay, we have winners. Are you guys ready for the last project? Um, is your SS in the new mini catalog? Is my SS, what does that mean? What's my SS, Diana? Oh, I know some of you have been asking me about my million dollar stamp set. Um, I scrapped it. <laughs> like I was working with Stampin' Up on, a, on an idea and when it came to fruition, I, I didn't love it. And so I said, I want to be able to love my million dollar stamp set. So I said, bye bye. That one's not working for me. So we haven't gotten to anything else because we had Maui and all the things, you know, there's a lot going on. <laughs> okay, here we go, you guys. We are going to be using the Evening Evergreen. This is such a deep, gorgeous green. I love it. Thank you, Carolyn says congratulations to all the wonderful winners. You're so sweet. Okay, so here's my cheat sheet. We have, get this out of the way. I can't tell you, I really love my desk over there, you guys. I'm like pretty, pretty psyched about it. Okay, so here is our little box. Now, these are all scored for you. All you do is bend on the score lines. Bend. I like to bend them through a little bit so they get a good, a good crisp fold on those edges. Pull this one back up. Bend this. Um, hang on. Bend this all the way through. Like, does that make sense? Kind of push it further than it should go. And then this one. Okay. So. Wow, that was hard, wasn't it? <laughs> Did you guys see that? Like, it doesn't get much better than this. Oh, I need to know how many you get in a thing. Hang on. So, you're each getting one of these if you ordered the Make and Take packet and are playing official bingo with us tonight. Um, you get, there are eight of these box bottoms and tops in here. So, you get enough to make eight. In your Make and Take packet, you're getting one. Okay, so there we go. It's that simple. Now, here comes the other one. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, so there's score lines right here. So this is going to be that little scalloped top, okay? And again, push this through. Yeah, Wednesday nights is Haley. Haley and Jared play on a kickball team, which is historical. Wednesday nights is kickball, and so I couldn't go tonight because I have bingo. The next week I have to go because Val does not like to go with anybody else, like just people. So he was like, you need to come and watch Val. 
I can do that. And I have her every Wednesday. Look at how easy that is. Is that just like, it doesn't get much easier, you guys. Look at that. You have this, and this is a craft color with little gold polka dots that are embossed. So very, very cool. I'm just reading some of the comments. Yeah, thank you, Trish, for thanking our bingo boss, Connie, because she does a heck of a job. Okay, here we go. So I am going to, now I've got a circle here, and let me see how big is this circle. She probably wrote it on here. Oh, no, she didn't. Okay, this is about two and three quarters or two and five eighths, two and five eighths inch round circle. And then we've got a scallop circle. This is the um, soft succulent, a new color. And then this is the evening evergreen. You can see the difference, but these are beautiful together. And then we've got this strip that is 11 inches long by one and a half. And this is evening evergreen also. Okay. Um, bum, 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 bum. Here we go. What am I doing? Here we go. <laughs> like, what am I doing? So this is the Daisy Garden stamp. And I'm going to ink this up with the evergreen. The evening evergreen. I'm looking for my piece of paper. Did you get, oh, here it is right here. I'm like, where did that go? And we're going to take this circle and we're going to just put it right on here. And see that keeps our fingers nice and clean. <gasps> Look how pretty that is, right? Okay, so there's our little circle. I'm going to show you two versions of this. I'm going to show you the version that Sarah made that you are more than welcome to do if you would like. But we're going to put this right on the scallop circle. And these will be coming in your make and take packet. So if you didn't sign up for this class this time, make sure you do next time so you get the make and take packet because it's it's included and, and goodies. You know, you're going to get you're going to get those um, loose flowers. These are really fun. A box, a half a pack of the rainbow shimmer paper and also a half a pack of the gift bags, which is what we use, the ombre gift bags, to make this cute little gift card holder. Okay, so, all right. Now, this was one and a half by 11, and it's just, let's see, you can score it or just fold it over a little bit at one inch, okay? So we're gonna take this, and I'm going to Put this over the side. Now you can figure this out and score it if you want, but holy man, it's just so much easier just to fold it over. So kind of pressed it over the edge there. And then I bring it down here so that it's not all kitty wampus like that, right? There's a redneck word for you. <laughs> My dad used to use that word a lot, bless his heart. <laughs> kitty wampus. You don't want it all kitty wampus. Yeah. Okay, so we did that. And then we're gonna just, you know, pull it snug and do another fold here and pull it snug and do another fold. And then I like to take it off and make sure that it's nice and straight and burnish that edge. This will just make things look really nice and tidy. See how this is trying to get crooked? Push it in place, make it right. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna take some um, tear and tape because I want something that's fairly strong here. <laughs> yeah, Kathy Shady says, I really think Sarah Simon is the biggest winner. The cards tonight are just gorgeous, and they are, aren't they? She does the most amazing job, and especially after I was, I um, misunderstood what she was offering to help me with, and then she still helped me, like, holy cow. And that, she um, works in the school system, so they are super duper crazy busy right now. I really felt guilty. <laughs> I really did feel guilty. But I knew she'd do just a super job for me, as always. She always does such a good job. She's always, she's one of those people that always, like, volunteers to help her stuff. She's just amazing that way. Okay, so I'm going to pull these up here just like this. This is a belly band. And when I put this on here, I'm going to center it just like this. 
before I press it down, okay? And now here's our belly band, right? Isn't that cool? And if you have any like gold trim, that would work nice to tie a bow to put on here. You can dress this up as much as you want to. I'm gonna show you Sarah's version. What Sarah did here is she um, stamped this stamp with Versamark and she gold embossed it and then cut out a flower and put that on dimensionals with a little gold bow here. So you could dress this up as much as you wanted. For right now, I'm gonna do what Sarah did and she took a little wink of Stella if you don't have Wink of Stella, you need to get some. You can place an order with this host code <laughs> right there if you need to. But Wink of Stella just makes everything dazzling and gorgeous. And I'll hold this up to life in just a second. Then we'll bring back all the cards for projects, I should say, that we made. Look at how pretty that is. <gasps> can you see that in the light? It's just so, like, so amazing. Another thing you could do on here is you could take a little sentiment. What do we have? You could use one of these little sentiments and you could stamp it on a tiny little strip like this and put it on here. You could do all kinds of stuff to this, but this just shows you how to make a belly band and a really pretty little decoration. This is a step up, right? Really, really cute. Okay, let's bring these back in here. Here was our easel card very pretty oh i love this okay, let me just swoosh everything out of the way here was our daisy card let me i'm gonna grab sarah's sarah's is better than mine <laughs> i know shocking um this using the same the daisy garden right here and then we have, this is one of our bags. These are our ombre gift bags that's folded so that it makes little pockets to put gift cards in, right? There's that. And again, the sentiment is from the um, all light-hearted lines. And then here comes this cutie patootie little card. This is from Good Things Grow. And, oh, and this is from Good Things Grow. No, I'm sorry, not Good Things Grow. All squared away. Where's that at? All squared away. I lost it. Um, it's here somewhere. Here it is. With a set of dies. So this one is a bundle. All squared away and the floral squares dies. You get these together. If you buy the bundle, you save 10%, or you can buy them individually if you'd like. But I think these go really good with these little squares. So here's all five of our projects. I am hoping to get all the cardstock and everything cut and packaged for these. I think I have all the product here to be able to do this and get these out in the mail to you hopefully tomorrow. So, yay! Okay, love the projects. Thanks for offering the event. Oh, Heather, you're so very welcome. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, thanks, Connie, for your help. Oh, Sarah Simon is watching. She says, just caught the end, was out to dinner for my... It's your birthday. Holy cow. Is it your birthday today? I know that I wish you a happy birthday, but I don't know if it's today or not. Sarah, everybody loved your cards and I told everybody that this was all you you just did an exceptional job these were really fun to make your notes all your little notes and your little post-its oh my gosh so amazing thank you so much for all your hard work on this it was so nice coming home from Maui and not being in a complete panic <laughs> I have to tell you okay you guys I want to congratulate our winners again tonight. Everybody's a winner. If you signed up for bingo, you're going to get all the fun goodies. You're going to love them. Um, the next bingo is going to be June 30th. And I will put registration out for that on the 9th, I believe. So if you're not on my email list and you would like to be, please email me at kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at symbol, a stamp above .com. 
and say, Kelly, can you please add me to your email list? If you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator and you'd like the current catalogs, send me your address and I'd be happy to send them to you. And remember, I always appreciate your orders, you guys. This is what keeps me in business. Thank you for registering for Bingo if you'd like to order any additional supplies. This is my current host code for you to use when prompted. So yeah, like everybody's, everybody is thanking Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. Yes, did she say it's her birthday today? Cause I didn't look at my calendar today. Push that button. Oh yeah, don't forget to push the button. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Hit that thumbs up, that's cool. And subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Um, you don't wanna miss anything. I'm, I'm, I'm a little entertaining, right? <laughs> <laughs> with all my crazy shenanigans and crazy family stories yeah okay um this weekend is memorial day weekend and i know this but i am not going out of town so i will be live at 7 p.m central time on sunday night for a fabulous stamping class and i will show you all my goodies that i got from um the maui stamping up incentive trip oh my gosh it was just the most amazing luxurious grand trip ever so thank you guys so much for tuning in with me tonight um if you'd like to play bingo next time sign up for the email list otherwise you're more than welcome to join me for this class it's a lot of fun and um feel free to make these cards make and take packets out in the mail tomorrow or the next day hoping for tomorrow yay have a great night you guys Bye bye